Spiritual to row. You don't have any spiritual power. Have some coffee. Have some caffeine. <laughs> so. Welcome, Sagittarius, to the month of May, the month of the Empress, the Mother Goddess, and Mother's Day. Here we are, getting ready to read for you. And I know you guys are so excited. I'm excited. Sagittarius. Sag rising. And Sag always, <laughs> if we post Sag first, you guys always thank us. It's so you're sweet. You're so humble. <laughs> I can't believe you read us first. You thank us. Because we always leave you to the end for yes. some reason. And we don't mean to do that. No. Last month we posted Sag first. Sag came first. So, so who knows? This month you may come first again. Or you may be mad at us again. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. So anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. Ava and I, every month, show up here on YouTube just like magic yes. to bring to you. <laughs> The four card spread. So let's tell them what that is. Uh, the first card represents the overall environment for the month of May for you, Sagittarius. Second card represents your challenges, things that you have to sort through. Yes, and the third card is the unexpected. Forewarned is forearmed. Forewarned, forearmed. We need a t shirt. We do, but I hate t shirts. She hates them. The yes. fifth card, how about a card collection? We could do the four warned is four armed Hallmark card collection oh. by Ava and Trudy. Gosh, that would be a really, that, the pessimistic line. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then the very last card represents the outcome for the month. And after that, we are going to go into last month's recap. Are you ready for last month's recap? I am totally ready. Can I mention Gwyneth Paltrow showing Please up do. as the goddess we show now in every Harper's sign. Bazaar? It's her favorite thing. My favorite thing to do. It's her favorite thing. Because to I was do. so excited to find archetypes from the tarot in Harper's Bazaar magazine. This is yes. Gwyneth Paltrow wearing a very groovy pink rose covered turban. I want it. We love her. And then our very, very favorite is Nicole Ritchie wearing the Rose Afro. Rose Afro. And this is really groovy. And it would then, be hard to make a market out of things like that because they would only have a short li uh, shelf life. Unless they were fake. Of course. Which they had those in the past. Which Mine is real. So go out and make yourself a, an Afro or a turban. Uh huh. And wear Ooh, it for Mother's and, Day. And make a video and send it to us. We'd love to see oh, them. <laughs> See it I want to see them. <sighs> or take a picture, post it to take our Facebook picture. page. But we'll anyway, this is super cool and we're really happy to find archetypes from the Tarot. You know, we want to bring these cards to life. We do. For our viewers because I know they all have these weird medieval sort of connotations that are hard to relate to. So that said, I have one more tear sheet. Please do. This oh, is the is Tarot it tear sheet. Girl? <laughs> no. Oh, medieval shoes are back this month, girls. <laughs> Gladiators are everywhere. Now, I believe that yes. this trend should not be repeated if you've already worn it in the 70s. Okay, oh, that's right. So that would be me. You were alive in the 70s. Don't put one of those old shoes from the closet on ever again. <laughs> well, uh, even the new ones from Chloe. Right. Don't wear right. those either. But I have been fighting the urge to buy a pair of these puppies. Oh, because they're in? Yes. I know. All right. Okay, there you go. Right. One more archetype. Oh, my God. Can we get to the beating? The chariot. Oh, yes. That's, yes, that's an ideal chariot. She's sitting on this, what kind of car is that? Is it like a Ferrari? Yes. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful car. It's about harnessing ambition, the chariot, okay? Right. If and, you and see uh, that card, show up moving, in this reading. moving in a single direction. Yes. And, and having inner balance to get there. Yes, okay, that's the last archetype. All right, that's it. Thank Lesson you. I'm gonna do. All right, here we go. We're gonna do last month's recap and the very first card that came up for Sag. <sighs> is a take a break card. Four of Swords. That's right. Uh, Reevaluating your previous circumstances making plans, learning your lessons, and 
taking time out to heal. And this came up during the spring break reading. Right. So it's taking That's literally it. maybe a holiday. Right. And then the second card that came up was the sensible shoes queen, the queen of pentacles in the upright in the challenge. So management, home management. Position. Right. We had said your challenge is simply maybe to stay home because when you stay home, you do not spend money mm -hmm. unless you like to shop online. But it's a safer place right. but, to but be. But really being very practical in And pulling back, do. pulling mm -hmm. back a little bit. Manage. And the third situation is the page of pentacles upright. In the position so of the unexpected. Could be news about something, um, either emotional or some sort of news about an event, uh, uh, some practical matter. Um, and But also uh, initiating a new idea. Mm -hmm. uh, initiating a new project. New work. New we work, say. maybe. Maybe um, you need money. Right. And a new source of money, a new mm -hmm. source of income. And we had mentioned that Uber is a really great alternative to babysitting. Drive <laughs> your car and make money. Yes. Is what Uber is all about. Yes. Which is a, a great, is, you, if you have a good car, something presentable, yes. it's uh, suddenly appeared on the uh, job for, forefront mm -hmm. uh, as a, a, a possibility. You can drive on your own schedule. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in the end we have death. A big card, okay? Big, big, big. A big, big boom to the end of the month. So we was said that Four of Swords was the chrysalis? Yes. Did we not? We did. And that the death is the butterfly. Yes. So you are, you grow your wings, and you leave the old behind. Yes. That's basically what it is. Finally not tripping over those dead bodies. That's it. Okay. Good. So we're ready for this month's reading for you, Sagittarius. And I think it's time to put some white light on this reading. White light. Beams of white light around the cards and around your mobile devices at home. Or your desktop computing equipment. Yes. So, we're ready. Mm. Here we go. Here we go. All right. My heart be still. Do me well. Oh, Taking it to market. Yes. There you go, Sag. Taking it to market. Interesting, interesting card. Ten of Wands. You've got a lot going on yeah you got a lot on your shoulders but this is the 10 this is taking it to the finish line mm -hmm. taking everything to the finish line concluding yes. it yes. no matter how much it has burdened you yes and sometimes Dave and I read this a bit differently Mm -hmm. I see it the car as the card of the martyr, the card of the overwrought and the overburdened, the card of the person who really needs to, to get a membership at one of these massage clubs. Um, that's how I see well, that's it. The see, but I always see that as the result of what it takes. Right, and that may get, be a personality yeah, situation right. the way we, because I see all of the work right, and you see the ending. I see the ending. Everything of value takes work. See, I am negative and you are positive. No. There you go. No, no, no. I'm glass half empty and you're <laughs> glass half full. That's why you get the full reading right. here, folks. It's not that I Is don't... this half empty or half full? Let me have a look and see. <laughs> That is I'm the in interpretation her, her of here. this card. All right, let's move on. Let's see this card living next to its sister card, which is the challenge position. Oh right. man, oh man. That's okay, good. It's the page of swords. The initiator. I think now that we had the page of pentacles, I was thinking we had the page of swords. But we had the page of pentacles in the position of the unexpected last month. So now we have another page. Page of Swords. I say, see, I see it as initiating, mm. intellectual initiation of something, communicate, initiating a communication, a new communication, a new way of communicating. All right. Um, and 
making that that's it's very decisive it's the swords the, the page of swords is a cocky son of a gun mm -hmm. um, it could be a person that shows up a young cocky a lippy a lippy cocky person mm -hmm. or it could be a certain amount of cockiness in what you're doing because it, mm -hmm. uh, again hood spot but it's also about writing Writing. So you may need to write a lot of emails to get this done. Or or writing something. Shooting emails off. Or quickly. Literally, yes, it's a writing project. Yeah. And it's starting. Mm -hmm. A starting of a writing project. I think of a, I can't remember the name of this guy. He's all about getting things done. And I wanted to say his name was David Allen, but it's something like that. Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. anyway, the I really brain, the brain guy. Yeah, he he is the guy who who all I mean the basis of his entire theory is the brain is meant for creative thinking. That it is. It, it is, is not a library. Right. You Which know, a database. Like the entire approach that schools take. Yes. They, they to see, memorize things. To see your brain as some sort of data storage right. unit. Right. So I often feel this way, you know. Yeah. That, oh my gosh, I got so many projects to do. How am I going to organize them and get them all done and take them to the finish line right. to market? How am I going right. to do that? Well, I started doing what this guy suggests, which is you carry around a tiny little notebook. Right. And every time you have a brain fart, which is what I call it, Excuse you us write it down. <laughs> and then, you know, at the end of the day, you put all your little brain farts in your little bin and you go through them. And you throw the ones away that are of no value, and then you know. Actually, but many you know of these things. It, now that you say that word, uh -huh. uh, the 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 challenge is brainstorming. It is. It is. Uh huh. So your challenge is to brainstorm. Mm hmm. Because that's often what that is too. Is that the or to handle the brainstorming. Mm hmm. The handle the brainstorming. Handling of the brainstorming. Right. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Or it can just mean you're firing off a lot of emails. Yes. That too? Uh-huh. Eight of So you walk away from something. Ups. Wow. Unexpected. Boom. Boom. So you have to walk away from some you have to make a a very emotional decision to walk away from some sort of something you've already invested in. Ew. Uh-huh. You've made an investment emotionally in something mm -hmm. and you you decide it's not bad because it eats a, a it's not bad that's true it's right. the minor arcana he's hermit got the, he's got the uh, it's like the action before the hermit right he's got his passionate cloak on right so you take your passion in uh -huh. a new direction right well it's kind of like having to move from an address like having to leave everything behind right right you know but you can't take decision. it with you it's a decision. It's a decision to leave all of that and mm -hmm. then to go to the next horizon, which right. is higher. Because sometimes you're, you have invested, you've done what was necessary yeah. in that area. Yeah. And now it's time for you to move on. Move on, yes. That's all. Uh-huh, and you're leaving. You're leaving. So it's, it's whether You built it's, it, it's still there. It's just an emotional departure. Mm -hmm. Or it could be a physical one. but. Um, he's, that's a traveling cloak he's got on. Yep. So unexpectedly, you take a trip, perhaps too. He's on his way. Yep. Cut. What does that sound? I know. Death. So it doesn't mean as much. Right. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so you are walking away from something. It could be a move. And Ava's just drawn the last card, which is the Ten of Swords. So we just had a little chit chat about this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go away, go. So, the Ten of Swords is the Minor Arcana Death card. The Death card is the Metamorphosis card, the the Butterfly card, um, shedding that old skin and having had enough of something, um, some situation some relationship, some area of your life that no longer serves you, that you are no longer willing to participate mentally in, is severed. Is that skin 
like a like the snake sheds the skin like the chrysalis is shed you have to do that in order to grow mm -hmm. and it is interesting well this card looks really dire well when it yeah. comes up and i always think of as a, as another more mundane meaning it could mean that you're suffering from back problems yeah, or you have like a yeah, physical a ailment in your back, but then look at that. Right. Then we have another one that says, you know, we carry stress between our shoulder blades, mm -hmm. which I heard from Ava in yoga class yesterday. Yes. <laughs> um, and this is, you know, serious. We shoulder. We it's, shoulder it's physical our and mental. Maybe because as as laborers we always carried everything on our shoulders. Maybe. So it becomes like that literal mm -hmm. bearing the weight on our shoulders and being rounded or or bent over right. by it. Exactly. And so then you suffer literally in the back. But even mm -hmm. they say even um, chronic back pain is the new ulcer. Uh, because as soon as the men you hardly ever hear of ulcers any longer, do you? You know why? You, you used to. You used to because ulcers were the um, means by which a person's stress would be physically expressed. Mm -hmm. But when the medical profession drew the link between your stress and that physical manifestation, people no longer went there. They, it was too obvious. Mm -hmm. So it's transferred to the back. Yes. And that's why we have all these massage clubs opening. And now that's why, yes, to try to get rid of that stress from the back. Mm -hmm. The back bears so our stress. It does. It does. <clears throat> and another interesting thing is that the buzzwords in current culture are stress, I'm stressed. This is stressing. I, You're stressing me out, man. You're stressing me out. <laughs> and spirituality. Mm -hmm. But they both are misused, I think, because as soon as you see your situation as stressful in your mind, mm -hmm. it literally becomes that. Right. As opposed yeah. to just a difficulty, a, a challenge, a conundrum. Uh, an opportunity, an to, opportunity to, to learn do. how to do it better the next time. The next time, or right? <clears throat> which is what this guy's doing. Right. Then you aren't floored by your problems. Mm -hmm. If you stop seeing everything as sources of stress, right? Instead, to look at them as um, an opportunity for you to become creative and to figure your situation out calmly and without <clears throat> negative thinking because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that never helps anything to see it from all angles to see it from all angles yeah. and that's the 10 and so therefore to graduate out of it or to right. be uh, metamorphize but it does look as if because we had the major arcana death card here Last, yes, month. last month it looks as if okay so that's a major karmic ending to something that was the big stuff last right. month this is sort of like another ending another ending but not as it's not as huge it's not as huge so sometimes after these big it's like an earthquake where you have the big one and then you have the little ones and right? then you realize that well maybe you're doing the same thing mm -hmm. in minor ways and you can stop it quicker and, and you walk can stop away it quicker, or maybe you recognize. Yeah, if you're carrying all the responsibility for a situation mm -hmm. within your life mm -hmm. and your challenges, the communication of that, your mm -hmm. challenge to communicate your thought mm -hmm. about that, mm -hmm. and it's new because it's Page of Swords, right. you might have to walk away from that situation and right. end it. And end it, which is what the at the end you do. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Again. Yes, so another two, ending. So there's two very important endings. This one a little less important, but still oh, really felt. Mm-hmm. You feel it. But you feel it quicker. You're learning. You're learning you're, faster. Yes. Okay. Awesome job. Awesome job. Sag, oh, do we have anything else to add about no. this reading? 
I don't have any major arcana no, there's nothing tear major sheets that I can going come up on, with. Actually. No, not really. Not really. No, it's just the idea of this one's not working out. I'm going to yeah, end it. That's right. I'm not going to take it on. Right. I'm not taking it on. Or I've had enough of that. Yeah. Well, and you may just like get to the 10, you know, the situation mm -hmm. where you feel as if you were but going to make this and happen. Beginnings, but, because yeah. the death is always about endings and beginnings. Yeah. So new beginnings. New beginning. And that's what the eight, eight and, is about. And another too. ending. Mm -hmm. Taking all the responsibility on, on. right away, mm -hmm. right out of the box. What do you do? You feel responsible for everything. That's it. And, and that. Uh, like, I have to make this person happy. Right. I'm the guy who has to do all the work. Right. I gotta take this to market. Right. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. And then you're like, eh. No. I'm not doing that anymore. That's right. I'm, I'm walking away. Out of here. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you, Sagittarius. I'm glad you have yeah. that kind of um Hutzpah. I love that word, Hutzpah. And and the cool thing is this is the minor arcana hermit cards so right. it is about the eight of cups is about walking away from something that you've established of the heart from the heart mm -hmm. and, learning. and learning there's a spiritual lesson right that is sort of wrapped around this entire thing so it is a great learning opportunity and he's going uphill too so he's going to higher ground yes so yes. that's good yes All right. he's illuminated he's illuminated Okay, so that's it. We love you guys. And we are going to give away a guided meditation to help you get through this month. So please click the link below, get your guided meditation. It's completely and totally free. Ava and I want to do more spiritual counseling. Yes. We want to build a foundation around your spiritual practice or yes. actually help you do that. And we'll be moving more in that direction in the coming months. We will. And then we have a council card. We have a council card, which is the spiritual overview of the four card spread. This needs one because there aren't any major arcana cards in there to help guide you through this. So uh, this would be a perfect candidate for a council card, which are available, which is available for uh, Four dollars and ninety-five cents. Yeah. $0.95. Just click so, the link below. Yes. In the description, and then we do personal and private readings. If you would like Ava or I to address a particular situation within your life, we would love to hear from you. Simply go to virtualtarot.wordpress.com. Click on the purchase a reading tab. Choose the reading that best reflects your situation, and then. Purchase it, send us an email at avatrudyyahoo.com. Zip, zip, zip. Zip, zip, zip. One more thing, which is our contest. We're having a contest for those who have already purchased a personal and private reading. If you would be so kind, please shoot a short, and I emphasize short testimonial video via your smartphone. Email that to us, and I'm saying short because it's small enough to email to us. It'll just make your life easier. Um, and we're gonna take every single name of every single uh, contest entrant and we're gonna put them in a hat. Which we'll, film. <laughs> maybe we'll take Aaron's hat. He wears this white top hat while he films. But yes. anyway, we'll put them in the hat and uh, it is Easter. We're not gonna draw a rabbit out of the hat. <laughs> we're gonna draw your name out of the hat. You're gonna win a free deep love reading um, or deep meaning or love reading. Same, yeah. Same thing. Yeah. So um, I think that's it. It that's is it. Easter. We're filming on Easter. Happy Mother's Day too. Forgot to mention. And then you're going to be enjoying Mother's Day, right? Yeah. And it is also my birthday this month. Oh, people forgot to mention. That's okay. Gemini, uh, Mar uh, May 26th. Is my birthday. Is her birthday. Now you guys are all going to know how crazy I am. Yeah. Um, all right. Love you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.